All right. In Maelstrom 9, there's a patch of water that goes straight to the ocean floor. I wonder what could be in there. Where the hell is that? Hey, hit the moonly. <laughs> Grims! Aw. Does he have a second Pokemon? Hiya! I hope not. I want to get this experience. Hiya! Spadef drop! Hiya! Spadef drop for days. There you go, Vulcan. Now that I mention it, I've seen Abyssal Cultists that go there a couple of times. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm assuming then it's somewhere I haven't been. I'm also keeping an eye out for another grotto. Because that one was so early in the route. I feel like they'll try and throw us off by making us think that we already got the one for this route. Can I give you a hand? Sure. And that's, that's when we get the good stuff. Oh yeah, the good stuff. What is this thing going for? I mean, what do I have to hit a Rodham? It has Levitate. I don't have anything to beat a Rodham. I'm gonna go out into Grimm's and hope he doesn't go for a ghost move. Ow. Alright, well that worked. Shadow Ball. Die! Aw, oh, crap. Grims! Alright. Well, might as well try Vulcan then. Z for Mega Z Ball. Get him, Vulcan! Ah! Uh, Alright. Yo, what? That did booty. There you go. Still did booty, but enough to work. Damn, that's a lot of experience. That uh, Amperos. I don't think we could beat that. But yo, Amphis ain't got nothing for that ground coverage. <laughs> yeah, later. Oh, signal beam. Right. Who's afraid of a signal beam? Oh, power gem. Who's afraid of a power gem? <laughs> of a power gem. Alright, well. Grims, you just kind of died. I don't, I don't have anything to heal with you. Maybe if you would have one shot at that Rotom. Exploring, we're exploring. Explorers do exploring. We will be exploring all day. Prove me wrong. Dragon's so strong. Oh my gosh. It's the Huxerus. Yo, go for a dragon move. I dare you. Bam! Yo, someone just got bodied. Later. A later, Gator. There you go, Vulcan. Oh, lava plume. Wow. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's keep all these. All these are good moves. And lava plume. There you go, Larry. Level 50. What do you say? No. That. What? No what? What the hell was that? Just going into a big black dark um thing. What the hell? Where am I? I'm lost at sea. Oh my gosh, I'm lost at sea. Oh, Maelstrom. I don't have dive. What the hell? No one ever gave me dive. Now what? Am I supposed to have dive? Cause I don't. I want to dive. Um, let's see. Yeah, this way we don't find no Pokemons. Also, where's the trainers in the water? Okay. Okay, so. Alright. So I can go here. All right, I got you. All right, in Kelper City. Nice, 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 nice. Yo, Vulcan's already the same level as Diamond Eyes. 
Then again, Vulcan gets hella more experience than Domini, so... Makes sense. Makes sense to me. What's up? You see a lot of abyssal cultists. Abyssal cultists. There's also a really deep ocean trench. What a funny coincidence. <laughs> uh, Kepler's city's electricity comes from nuclear power. There's a reaction underground that generates huge amounts of energy every second. It's actually a lot safer than people give it credit for. Nuclear power isn't dangerous as everyone thinks. Yeah, it's that's what I think. I'm always like, nuclear power? Come on. Anastasia's our gym leader runs a machine theme gym. <gasps> oh. She's in the observatory working on her own projects in her lab. I guess that's one of the drawbacks to being a gym leader with an actual job. <laughs> Saying being a gym leader isn't a job? Sup, Holmes? Augur is actually a cultist. He's running a re region behind our backs. Wake up, Mary Reaple. What? Just as I say that, my alarm goes off. Interesting. Reap, reap! My friends like this all the way. Oh, I don't know why I couldn't understand that sentence. Completely unbearable. It's probably a good idea to get to know someone before sharing a house. Yeah, well, guess that's your fault, huh? <laughs> Ooh, look at the multiple abermasner. It's holding a TM. Wee! I love stealing things from other people's Pokemon. Just try and stop me. Our town has a trade agreement with Nazca Town. They provide us with food and fruit. Fruit is food. What the hell are you talking about? And we share our technology and inventing inventions. Would you like to trade Pokemon? Beldum? Huh? For any electric and fire? I don't have... There's not an electric... Oh, there's a Rodham. Did you know that Harmony, Rukra, and Anastasia, and Professor Sylvan all went to the same university? Two gym leaders, a cultist, and a professor, all learning together. How did you know he's a cultist? Let's get a Beldum. Maybe. Fire or electric? Well, let's get rid of this Slugma. That I guess everyone is trading us. Actually, yeah, I forgot about wheezing. Hmm. I do want to use like non-stop Delta Pokemons. I kind of just want to have one for now. A, uh, a Beldum? Because I don't know if someone will want to trade me or something. For a Beldum or a Steel type that I don't have. Besides, Beldum's cooler. Oh wait, it literally has to be an electric fire type? What the hell? So... Rot him then. Well, fine. Not worth then. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I go that way. I'm so sorry. Alright. Well, screw you guy. What about this guy? Oh, that's right. I already talked to him. Ha! Alright. Um, a bunch of junk. Cobra City is definitely the tech and science city for Torin. Every innovation from Pokeballs to power all comes here. From here. Sup, yo? Absolutely love living here in Kepler. Not only do I love machines, but my parents helped to build. I want to honor my parents' memories by never moving away. Cool. Awesome guy. A monk and a lady with an umbrella. It's an interesting house. I spent years training with Psychic and Ghost-type Pokemon, so it was really odd when I moved to Kepler. There isn't much of the mystical or magical here. It's all hard science. True that. I think the scariest cult in the region is the Infernal One. Their members are creepy to say the least. It feels like they were brainwashed into joining. Oh snap. Someone's going to get brainwashed. 
Which one is the Infernal Cult? Your Pokemons need to be in fish tanks. They're dying. Greetings, young one. I'm the ancient guardian of the legendary HM3 Surf. Only with this move will you be able to cross large bodies of water. <clears throat> Dang. 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 Well, I need dive. I need dive, not surf. Why do I want defog? I don't need defog! The leader of Kepler City Gym is named Anastasia. She is one heck of a battler. She's a master of both steel and electric. Oh, what the hell? Standing on your face. Do I dare do this? <laughs> you saw nothing. Sometimes the other kids at school make fun of me because I'm so small. But it's alright, my Pokemon are much bigger and that's all that matters in the end. True that. I heard this huge rumbling sound earlier followed by gears turning. How bizarre it sounded like a machine. I just love watching the Whalemer walk around. Alright, alright. Here there's a moss rock over in Muck Merc Forest. <laughs> Muck forest. <laughs> Alright, well, I talked to all these peoples. I thought I could walk on these. It looks like we can. I guess not! So that's a gym, that's a cave, that's a... Uh, place. So wait, I thought there was a thing over here. Pika Taxi! Ooh, a TM! My wife and I have been saving our money to afford a nice home. Hopefully, we'll be able to move in together to live a quiet life. I can only some uh, more so expensive. Uh, Hikate Town. Aerial Ace. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Voltor. Ooh, gimme. You don't have any hands. You can't hold it anyways. I've been learning about these cult leaders and their really powerful teams. I heard some of them have never before seen Mega Evolutions. Yeah, they ain't all that great. I used to work in Anastasia's gym, operating the machinery and whatnot. She's a very, um, passionate lady. She enjoys what she does very much. She can be a bit overbearing at times, but hey, nobody's perfect. Except everyone in the perfection cult. I was down in the tall grass and I came across two Pokemon at once! What? Why can't you catch both? Do you not have confidence in your trainer abilities? What what is this? What is this place? Whoa! Oop! Sorry, I didn't see you. One moment, please. Oh, that looks like Instertia. Dr. Rice, the telescope is completely fine. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a white glare in the middle of the image. It's clearly broken somehow. In the astronomy world, right wait, in the astronomy world, rights, we call that a star. Okay. Sure. If you spent less time on that project of yours and more on actual research, that's right, I said later. Wait, right? I said later. I don't understand what's happening. And don't forget that the project of mine is what's funding us in the first place. Well, that's okay. I just came in on a random conversation, so I'm not supposed to understand. What's up? Yeah, I could tell. You're Anastasia. Uh, take me on... Sure, I see. Thanks for letting me know. No need to worry. Let's just get going. Pretty busy at the moment. The sooner we can get this battle done, the better. Yeah, tsh, get wrecked. Uh. Oh, yeah? Ha! What? It's not even closed. It's just a room. I can't walk back there. Whatever. What? The weather wasn't like this when I went into the building. This can't possibly be natural. Why not? It rains. It was just raining on the route I was on. It's just moved to here now. Makes perfect sense. What kind of machine could possibly have created this? Yeah, dirt. You didn't notice the guy flying on the Lugia right in front of you? How have you been, Anastasia? Alive? Oh, dang. The world is changing. Our plan has officially been put into action. 
This storm is the only is only the beginning. My Lugia storm will flood the entire world. That's not a Kyogre. I thought your group worshipped Kyogre. Uh huh. But Kyogre's true value is only revealed in specific circumstances. Those conditions are being created as we speak. And since leaders like you will be too busy trying to save citizens, we can't be stopped. Says who? Why don't they just stop you? Then the citizens will be fine. Tell me, Anastasia, have you ever heard of... It describes mankind's initiate fear, innate fear of the deep, deep ocean. And soon, very soon, we'll be reminded of where it came from. Oh, dang. Well, that's fantastic. The worst part is, she's right. I can't stop her. I need to protect people from the floods. But you, I'm not going to ask you to fight her. Can't ask something like that of a kid. I already beat her. But if you could take this and find someone who could, I'd greatly appreciate it. Stupa gear. Oh, dang. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got scuba gear. You know what that means? That means screw this mission. We, wait. Did stuff get blocked off? Oh my gosh, it did. I mean, I can surf. A turn of cool. Uh oh. Oh, okay, I can run. Oh man, they blocked off the Pika Taxi. Those sons of guns. I was gonna go get me a Delta Pokemon. Maybe. Yo, what do you mean I can't escape? You wanna go? Let's do it. How about that? Bet you wish you'd let me escape now, son. What's wrong? You dying, bruh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, how you like me now? Well, this is stupid. I guess we have to handle these guys. Probably get revives because knowing this game will go like a million layers into a deep cave, not have any way out, and then be screwed. Let's have five and a few super potions because you never know. And ultra balls, great balls, gotta have 25 of each. Hey, max repels. Yo, might as well get stocked up on items. All right, escape rope. Yeah, we have plenty of those. We chilling. All right, well, I guess let's handle this chick then since they aren't allowing us to do nice things. Hmm. What should we put at the front? Let's put Larry. Now Larry can't run from no one. Whatever. Um. Repel. Hey. All right, so it's here. Sure, let's use dive. I don't have any scuba gear on. Ooh. Le Craw. I mean, not Craw. I always confuse their names. Carvana. Yo, what happened? Oh, it's a higher level than me. Yo, you wanna go? I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid to throw down. Let's do it then. Now, what happened, bruh? Alright guys, that's gonna be the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share the video, comment down below, and don't forget to answer the question of the day. And in the next episode, we will continue on in our journeys in Pokemon Insurgents and see what else this lovely game has to offer us. So until then, you guys, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching. I'll see you next time. Later!